really like her. Okay, next celebrity news. Do, 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 which they there have is a not very much. For me. Yay. There is not very much celebrity news, but I do have a surprise for Dana, who is like the biggest Lady Gaga fan in all the world. Okay, I'm ready. She like she's gonna get a Lady Gaga tattoo when we go to get our next tattoos. Okay, she was at the Consumer Electronics Show. She has partnered with Polaroid, and she is coming out with some products. One of them is a printer, a wireless printer to print pictures off your cell phone. I think that's wonderful. That is really, really great. Because, you know, it'll be like fast, you know, like right then you can take a picture, print it. It'll probably be, I would think, like snapshot size. The other product is sunglasses that take pictures. No way. No, that's cool. That's the new album cover. Have you seen that? <laughs> I'm not awesome. I'm not sure about this. I mean, because I think it could be like kind of weird for creepers. Oh, creepers. I mean, people will be taking pictures of you with their sunglasses and you never know it. So, what are we showing? Yay, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga's thing. So, I... I'm undecided about the sunglasses. I think it can be cool. I think it would be a really cool item to have. But the creepers, that kind of freaks me out. Like who could be taking who could be taking your picture without your knowledge? Hmm. So I'm still kind of up in there, but the printer, I'm really, really cool about the printer, the Polaroid printer. Okay, is this really the exciting story you saved for me this whole time? She Yes, has... because I thought that you'd be so excited you'll get Lady Gaga's sunglasses. <sighs> You know you'll be buying them. Okay. You will buy them. Will you not buy them? She will be buying them. She will be waiting in line at midnight to buy the Lady Gaga sunglasses to take pictures okay. of us walking I around. She is like, okay, whatever. Thanks for the non-excitement, Dana. Sorry. Anyway, she has a new album coming out. That's exciting. Yes. Born this way. Born this way. <laughs> new song. It's great. Love Lady Gaga. Also Kesha. We really love. Yeah, Kesha. we're really into Kesha. That these song, days. Grow a Pair. It is like the best song for anybody that's had to deal with a crazy man. It's a great song. And I've had to deal with quite a few. <laughs> that's going to be a topic for another day, though. We're yeah, going to have a whole men one. topic we're, going, we're working on, and it's going to be good. We may even have a guest. we got another friend that's well, had, yeah. She wants to participate in that She one. wants to participate in the man topic. Okay. Now, on to John Travolta. Carrie Fisher has outed John Travolta as being gay. Okay. A. Do you think he's gay? No. Okay. How can he be gay? I mean, well, he did dress up in as a woman as Hairspray. And he did dance around a lot in Greece. So, I might be changing my opinion, but I really don't care if he's gay. No, hey, I don't what care. is it her business to be running her mouth? Hey, if Kelly don't have a problem with it, let's just yeah. go along. I mean, he's married and got kids. You know, leave him alone. He's fine as wine. It don't matter if he's gay or straight. He is fine. Do you know who I think and is And I gay? like him chubby, too. Hmm, how about that? I'm going to out right here myself. Mm -hmm. Vin Diesel. I think he's gay. <gasps> really? Oh, yeah. He's way too pretty. You never hear about him. His social life, either way, you know. I think he is. I love him, and he's hot. Oh, he's fine. The things I would do. But I just really think he might That's be. That's me sopping him up with a biscuit. Vin Diesel. And I'd like you more if you just said it. Yeah, I mean, if you are, just say you are. But the thing is with Carrie Fisher, she got all distraught back when Roseanne and um, Roseanne Barr and Rosie O'Donnell had talk shows. Rosie O'Donnell had not come out yet, and Roseanne kind of put her out there that she was gay, and Carrie Fisher just jumped all over Roseanne about it, and now she's doing the same thing. Seems to me like Carrie Fisher needs to get something called a life and leave people alone. And by the way, my gaydar did not go off of Rosie O'Donnell at all. Isn't that weird? <laughs> and I'm usually kind of good at it, but I didn't see that one coming, Rosie. I guess I just never thought about it one way or the other. Yeah. She wasn't really. Okay. <clears throat> and our last story is there is a man, a grown man. Grown ass man. <laughs> That has got a Justin Bieber tattoo on his leg. Like this big. It's huge. We got a picture. Oh, there it is. 
Wow. I don't understand that. I, for one, do not have Bieber fever whatsoever. I could, well, like I said on a previous video, I like some of his songs, you know, whatever. Me and the kids sing them in the car or whatever. But what the crap, man? I mean, you got Justin Bieber on your freaking leg. I Does mean, he know tattoos don't come off? <laughs> he might not have got that memo. <laughs> I mean, but he needs they to do are research. permanent. They're permanent. They don't come off. And when you off. get one, it needs to be something that you're going to be fine with having. And it's so big. What are you going to cover it up with 10 years from now? He ain't going to be wearing a lot of pants, evidently. Because you cannot cover that tattoo up. It was huge. He, and did I say he's a grown man? Do you think he did it as a joke or a dare? Because he, number one, looks like he's some kind of a rock fan. He does not strike me as the Justin Bieber type. Well, he is the Justin Bieber type now, whether he wants to be or not. No Bieber fever. They don't say if he's gay or straight either, but... Hopefully he's straight because if he was gay and then he's having like a, how old was Justin Bieber, 16 year old tattooed on his leg? Did you see who Justin Bieber said he was in love with? Well, I hope it's that girl we was talking about the other day. <laughs> Selena Gomez? Yeah. Well, he didn't she's not like in threats. love with her, but he went, saw her on the red carpet the other day and was like, oh my God. Who? Raven. That's Raven so Simone? Mm hmm Raven Simone is not going to talk to you, Justin Bieber. She's older than you. And... She ain't going to be studying you, little boy. That's so Raven. <laughs> <laughs> Go back. Yeah. See, he happen. was just a kid when that was on. He probably loved her. And now that he thinks he's ludicrous, he thinks he can get her. Well, he's not ludicrous. Memo. And I love Raven Simone, too, from the Cosby Show. And I feel kind of like a motherly figure over her. So I'm telling you now, Justin, step back. Step away from the Raven Simone. Yeah, I don't think you got to worry about that too much. No. She's all grown up. Mm, she ain't studying him. He's a kid. But you can have a crush. I have crushes. Vin Diesel. Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fine. Okay, so that's all, all right. of our news. What did we do this weekend? <clears throat> we'll talk about our weekend real quick for just a minute. Friday night, I went out to Tifton, Georgia. With a couple of the girls. Not me. No, Dana wouldn't go. She refused. Dustin was unavailable. Had way too many sex on the beaches. The drink. The drink. Not yeah. really sex on the beach. Tifton does not have a beach. No. And Dana, what'd you do? Nothing. Friday night. Nothing. And Saturday night, we got together and we grilled steak and fried shrimp. That was very good. delicious. And then today, and which Simon I was supposed to be at, night. but people wouldn't answer the phone. Well, he knows to just show up, which is what yeah. he did today when I was still in my pajamas. So it's not like he don't know where I'm at. And then today's just been a lazy day. I've had five kids at the house all weekend. Two of them are hers. They don't want to go home. So we don't just, have to. <laughs> they don't have to. They can stay. Because yesterday I cleaned up my kitchen, and this morning it was still clean. But mine sure was not. I don't understand that. Yeah. They wreak havoc. No Tell them what they ate. <laughs> when? This morning. They ate grits and cheese eggs. But how many eggs? 14, 14 eggs. 14? I scrambled 14 <laughs> eggs. And when my baby girl got in here and she's 10, she was fussing because there was like not even a half of an egg left. 14 eggs. And they wow. ate them. It's a good thing your mama gives you them chicken eggs. I know, right? I'm so glad my daddy's got chickens and, and I ain't eggs. got to pay for eggs. The yard eggs are the best eggs ever. Okay, so I, I guess, guess that's it for today. We're going to be working on topics. I don't know if we'll, we may do a midweek session. Work really is really know. cramping our Yeah, work style. is cramping our YouTube style, and we're not really happy about it. Don't get me wrong, we're happy we got jobs, you know. But well, it's, hard, it's hard to get together. <laughs> You know, in the afternoons. Yeah. So, if not, we'll be back next weekend with some more news and gossip and celebrity news. And maybe we'll come up with a great topic. Somebody has said that we need to talk about Southern slang. The words that we use that aren't really words. We're working on it. So, we'll work on that. We're working on it because we don't know what the hell he's talking about. Yeah, because that's just how we what talk. What words is he meaning? We don't know. That's just how I talk. It's like... Missy-isms. 
Yeah, that's what it is. It ain't got to be words. It's in my dictionary. Okay. Well, we're out of here. Dustin's wrapping us up. He says we got to go. So we will see you. Is that what the... that finger meant? Yeah. It was oh like, my God. Wrap okay. it up. Wrap really... it up. You're dying.